Hello students, in this video we'll see the Cauchy-Riemann equations in polar form. Let's recall what the Cauchy-Riemann equations are. The Cauchy-Riemann equations for functions u of x, y, and v of x, y are partial u, partial x is partial v, partial y, and simultaneously partial u partial y is negative partial v partial x. So what we'll do now is we'll figure out what these equations become in polar coordinates. So let's recall polar coordinates are just x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. That's polar coordinates. And so now let's compute partial u partial r. So partial u partial r will be partial u partial x partial x partial r plus partial u partial y partial y, partial r, which will be partial u, partial x. Partial x, partial r is going to be cosine theta. Partial u, partial y, uh, partial y, partial r is going to be sine theta. So partial u, partial y is going to be sine theta. And now I can relate these ux and uy to the v's. And so what I have over here is I can write the ux as what? So ux is going to be vy. So this is going to be partial v, partial y, cosine theta. And then this second term over here is going to be a what? This is going to be a minus partial v, partial x, partial v, partial x, sine theta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a factor of r by both of these terms over here, and then divide it by 1 over r. That doesn't change anything over here. But now what can we observe over here? We can observe that this is going to be exactly what? If I was to compute partial v, partial theta, what would we get? So I claim that what this expression is over here is just partial v, partial theta. So let's check that. So what would partial v, partial theta be? So now notice partial v, partial theta, partial v, partial theta is going to be partial v, partial x. The derivative of x with respect to theta is negative r sine, negative r sine theta, and then plus partial v, partial y. And then partial y, partial theta is going to be r cosine theta. So if we look at this expression over here, and we look at our expression over here, we see that exactly that that is equal to partial of um, partial of v with respect to theta. So our first Cauchy-Riemann equation is the following. So our first Cauchy-Riemann equation becomes this. It becomes partial u, partial r. Partial u, partial r is 1 over r partial v, partial theta. So that's our first Cauchy-Riemann equation. Let's box that. There we go. And so now what's the second one going to be? So let's do the same procedure. What's partial v, partial r? Partial v, partial r is going to be what? There's going to be partial v, partial x, partial v, partial x, partial x, partial r. So partial x, partial r, we can just write down, we've already done that before, it's going to be cosine of theta, cosine of theta, plus partial v, partial y. Partial y, partial r is going to be sine theta. Again, we use ordinary Cauchy-Riemann. So this step over here, what did we use? Over here we used Cauchy-Riemann. And this step over here, I'm going to use Cauchy-Riemann. And so Cauchy-Riemann for Vx is what? That's going to be negative uy. So this is negative partial u, partial y, cosine theta. And then plus what? Vy is going to be ux. So it's going to be partial u, partial x. And then partial u, partial x, sine theta. Again, I'm going to factor in a factor of r. And divide that one over r. And so now what is this expression over here? In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a negative sign, so I can pull out one more thing. So if I pull out a negative sign, this will turn into positive, and this term over here is going to turn into a negative. So let's turn it right over there into a negative sign. And so now let's look at what partial u partial theta is. So what's partial u partial theta? So partial u partial theta, partial u partial theta, is partial u partial x. Then partial x partial theta is going to be negative r sine plus partial u, partial y, and then partial y, partial theta is going to be r cosine. Okay, and so look what we have over here. We have partial u, partial y, r cosine, and then minus partial u, partial x, sine, r sine. So this term exactly is equal to negative 1 over r, partial u, partial uh, theta. So our second Cauchy-Riemann equation, this is our first, and our second one is, and the second equation is going to be partial v, partial r, partial v, partial r, is negative 1 over r, partial u, partial theta. So those are our Cauchy-Riemann equations together. So our CR and polar coordinates, CR and polar, are partial u, partial r, is 1 over r, partial v, partial theta, and 
partial V partial R is negative 1 over R partial U partial theta. So there we have it, our Cauchy-Riemann equations and polar coordinates. Thank you very much.